Vulcan is a two-stage liquid fuel rocket. It starts with a structurally stable aluminum booster fueled by liquid oxygen and liquefied natural gas, which is basically the commercial variant of methane. And the booster is powered by a pair of BE-4 liquid rocket engines that each produce over 550,000 pounds of thrust at liftoff. Depending upon the configuration of the mission, what we're lifting and where we're going, we can augment the thrust of the booster with up to six solid rocket motors or GEM-63 XL. On the forward end of the booster, we have a cylindrical composite interstage adapter. That's the transition to the upper stage. Uh, Centaur it is powered by a pair of RL-10 engines that each produce about 24,000 pounds of thrust. On the forward end of the upper stage is a payload fairing. That is a composite structure that is in two halves that encapsulates the payload through the boost phase and early stages of the mission while we're still within the atmosphere. That composite fairing comes in two lengths, either 51 feet or 70 feet in length. Like the rest of the rocket, it is also 5.4 meters in diameter. We're down here at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. Behind me, obviously, you can see the Vulcan uh, launch vehicle to support our inaugural mission. Uh, we've been down here for a few months after we completed build of the vehicle in our uh, Decatur, Alabama plant and shipped it down here on the waterways and across the ocean on our rocket ship. We've done a number of tests already where we've loaded propellant on the vehicle. We've gone through all the normal activities we would on a day of launch. Uh, we fire the main engines on the booster for about six seconds to verify that complete system and the complete booster propulsion system. And that's what we call a flight readiness firing. And uh, we'll roll back to our vertical integration facility and start preparations uh, for our first launch. During that time between the flight readiness firing and the first launch, we'll get into a more normal cadence of what we do leading up to a launch. So we'll do final checkouts of the vehicle, We'll mate the solid rocket boosters, and the final step before we come back out to the pad for launch is mating the encapsulated payloads. And when we've completed checkout of that integrated rocket and payload system, we'll roll out here to the pad for our inaugural mission. We're very excited. This will really uh, bring in a new era in spaceflight, a brand new modern launch vehicle that's tailored to support a wide range of customers and a wide range of performance from medium to very heavy lift, all with the single family of rockets.